How's it going, YouTube? Bulgaria just held their fifth national election within a two-year period. They just can't work things out. So they keep holding early snap elections. And I know you're all on the edge of your seats, eagerly anticipating some sort of conclusive outcome that would finally lead to a stable Bulgarian government. But it's unlikely to happen. So let me pull out the whiteboard that everybody loves so much. Now, the first thing that you're probably going to want to know is how did the nationalists do? So for a long time, Bulgaria has always had some hardline uh, nationalist parties, but they're constantly joining forces and then forming splinter groups, and it's all this back and forth and back and forth. Well, the big one right now is Revival, which I think is pretty much run by a bunch of different former leaders of other nationalist parties. And they got 13.6% in 37 seats. Although in the last election, the vote was split between Revival and Bulgaria Rise. And so last time, those two parties got a combined 14.5% in 39 seats. This time, Bulgaria Rise got slightly under 3%. And so they didn't make the 3% threshold and did not actually win any seats. So you could say that the hardline nationalist bloc of revival in Bulgaria Rise, well, they got like 16.5% instead of 14.5% but they went down two seats. Then you've got GERB and Democratic Forces ran as a cartel. This is the establishment center-right. Although, as I've said many times before, Bulgaria is not a left-wing country. They don't have the rabid leftists like you have in Northern Europe and Spain and Canada and America. And even as far as establishment center-right parties, they're probably more conservative than the establishment center-right parties in much of the rest of Europe. Now, this is called There Is Such a People, and I've reported on them many times in the past. So over the course of the last five elections, this was a new party that shot up to first place and was a huge sensation. And then it crashed all the way back down to the point where in the last election, it didn't even win any seats. And so now it's back up to 11 seats after having zero. Now, We Are Such a People is basically a conservative, big tent populist party run by a talk show host. And it's somewhat at least nationalist leaning and when they shot up to first place, they kind of absorbed the hardline nationalist vote. And so all the different nationalist parties kind of disappeared. And then when this party began rapidly losing support, then revival in Bulgaria Rise popped back up. Now, these two parties ran as a cartel. This is We Continue the Change in Democratic Bulgaria. Both of these parties run as so-called anti-corruption, big tent, centrist, populist, pro-EU. Now that's basically like a total cliche now. That's like the, the ultra-generic uh, campaign in the former Eastern Bloc. In fact, Montenegro just had a presidential election and it sounded like two of the exact same candidates running against each other. They were both calling themselves, you know, pro-EU, anti-corruption, big tent, populist centrist. This is the same thing that Volodymyr Zelensky ran on for president of Ukraine. So they ran as a cartel, they got uh, 64 seats. There's 240 seats in parliament, by the way. Now, this is the Bulgarian Socialist Party. Now, this is the Bulgarian Socialist Party, except 
unlike the socialists of Scandinavia and Britain and Spain, they're actually economic socialists, but on social issues, they tend to be very conservative. For example, a lot of these socialists in Northern Europe now, well, they're more concerned about open borders and special privileges for transsexuals rather than economic issues. Um, it's, it's also fairly nationalist. In fact, I know in the last election, some of the people in the Bulgarian Socialist Party were explicitly uh, calling themselves a socialist alternative to revival. That, that they had the same views on nationalism and social issues, but with socialism. Uh, now they got 8.6%. Now the closest thing to what you could call like a, a left-wing party, I don't know if, if left-wing is the right word, um, but it's definitely a subversive type of party because this is the Turkish Minority Interest Party. And from everything I can tell, it's very heavily influenced by the Turkish government. And it's basically an, an instrument of Turkish foreign policy. In fact, in the last election, there were some big shenanigans where the Turkish government was accused of trying to pump up this party. In each of these elections, Bulgaria has a lot of polling places outside of Bulgaria. And some of them are in Turkey. And the allegation was at these polling places, they only had ballots in Turkish. And so uh, Bulgarian citizens who didn't speak uh, Turkish couldn't actually read the ballot and they had to take someone else's word for it about which party they were actually voting for. Now this party also gets a lot of votes from the Gypsies and the Pomaks, which are an uh, ethnic group in Bulgaria who mainly practice Islam. Now roughly 12% voted for a party that did not win any seats. Uh, Bulgaria Rise was the next highest, and then there was basically more or less a splinter group of the Bulgarian Socialist Party that got about 2.5%. And then there's multitudes of other parties that got, you know, less than 1% each. Now, if you're wondering which of these parties are the so-called pro-Russian parties, well, the ones that are the most favorable towards Russia would be Revival, the Bulgarian Socialist Party, and Bulgaria Rise. Now, that doesn't mean that individual members of the other parties can't be more or less pro-Russia. Uh, Bulgaria's support for the Ukrainian war effort is something that's very controversial in Bulgaria. America is also uh, expanding their military bases in Bulgaria, which is very controversial. But that's the situation. There, there are a lot of Bulgarians who are pro-Russia. All right, thanks for watching this video. Click the like button, post a comment below, tell me what you think about this, and please subscribe to my backup channels on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble. And click the subscribe button. New video every few days.